y'all. Welcome back to my channel, Patrick Bernard Smith. That was another video reaction, and today we're reacting to yet more of my favorite singers, and I decided to react to Madonna's Take a Bow, which is from her Bedtime Stories album. And I've always loved um, Take a Bow because it was kind of a different sound for Madonna at the time, and it was released, I think it was released like 1995 or something like that. So I do remember the song coming out around the same time I had really been able to kind of understand my taste in music because I was about 10. So I really was able to kind of get into music and know what I wanted. Um, so I would kind of buy, you know, CDs and tapes to my bike. Uh, and I remember the song came out because it came out around the same time. Coolio's Gates of Paradise came out. Um, Cross Worlds by Bone Thugs and Harmony, who I love. Mariah Carey's Fantasy had just came out. Um, and I remember just all that around that time, TLC Creep, Mike Jackson, You're Not Alone. So I was really into music. So it's good to kind of go back. And it's always what really helps me stay connected to my childhood. Um, and it's a happy feeling. So um, I like this song because it's really a song that kind of showcases Madonna vocally. And it also is a little bit of an R&B edge to it. And to top it off, Babyface produced the song and I love Babyface. Anybody knows that, excuse me, I love Babyface. So Babyface and Madonna together, instant winner. So anyway, let's get to it. Here's Madonna's Take a Bow off of her bedtime stories. Let's go in and get it, y'all. So even with the, the instrument and how the orchestra is playing is kind of what really sets the tone of the song. And then you'll hear Madonna sing the way the song is meant to be set up as a dramatic feel. And then you hear Babyface in the background kind of backing up some of the lead vocals on Madonna, which I think I never knew how much I needed Madonna and Babyface in a song, but I can appreciate it. But anyway, let's get back to it. Take a bow, now you know this masquerade is getting older. Nights are long, curtains down, there's no one here. See what I mean? How Madonna is coming in strong with her vocals, and then Babyface kind of backs up with the, uh, you know, the ad libs with it. But it's an instant bona fide hit. I think that the reason why the song works so well again is because of the tones that Madonna has, and then Babyface has, and it kind of blends in really well. So I, I, I've always loved this song. But anyway, I'm just trying to get some copyright breaks in there. But let's get it. Before we get into the chorus, I just want to compliment Madonna on her vocals. Even her transitions are pretty swift. I'm a little shook, and I didn't really realize that until I reacted to this. But her, how she's going low to high really quick. Come on, Madonna. I don't know if Babyface may be bringing that out of y'all because he brought it out of Whitney and Mariah, but I think he's pulling that out of them. But I'm saying, I love it. But anyway, let's get back to it. I guess you always know what 
it's true. You took my love for granted, why? Oh, why? You show me to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Two things we're going to listen to. Let's not let it slide by on Babyface's vocals. His runs are so freaking smooth and velvety. And don't also miss Madonna sneaking those little runs in there. I, I hear it. You know what I mean? I can hear you, girl. But uh, we're going to go back and let the song play. But it's, I just didn't want to pass up on none of these opportunities to catch when these vocals are being delivered. You know, that's what we do, and we we analyze it for a reason, right? Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a really tiny part, but it's always been my favorite part of the song. When this beat kicks in, it's like dun 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 dun. And the way Madonna sings over it, it's something about it that gets me. You probably never noticed it, but I did. But it's about to come. It's, it's this next part where the beat kicks in and dun 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 dun. dun. And Madonna's like, anyway, if you hear it, you hear it. If you don't, that's my part. <laughs> Okay, before we go on to the rest of the song. Now, I know people are used to Madonna and her upbeat, you know, kind of dance pop songs. But to appreciate somebody else who can deliver a ballad like this. And the so the ballad to go to number one, which I remember it did, is saying a lot about Madonna. It says a lot about how people kind of overshadow her vocals because they're so used to her putting on a show, kind of like Janet. And, you know, people kind of bypass them and don't really think that they're very good singers. But this song proves everybody wrong. Clearly, Madonna is an amazing singer. She's not a big ballad vocalist like Whitney and Mariah, but she is in her element. She stays in her comfort zone and she sings songs that are very complimentary to her voice. I think she has a classical, strong tone and I think it fits so well with our songs and I think that hearing this song really reminds me that um, she has more to offer than just the upbeat dance songs and also I'm never forgetting about Baby Faces contribute to this song I think the way he set this up for him to kind of be the supporting vocalist on the song was so genius it feels like a duet 
but it's still Madonna in the lead. You know what I mean? But I love it. And I love the lyrics I'm always related to it about being in a relationship with somebody who's kind of leading you on and they're so good at making you think that they're wanting to make something work and really they just kind of putting on the front. So I love it. But anyway, let's get back to it. Yes, so that was Madonna. Let's take a bow featuring Babyface off of her Bedtime Stories album. Now, that song in particular is probably for real my favorite Madonna song. I think when that song came out, I had remembered that that song came out around the same time Human Nature came out, and I just love Human Nature. I don't know what really happened with that song, um, why people really don't associate that when they talk about Madonna, but Human Nature is uh, one of those songs where she kind of is again standing up for what she believes in and kind of an anthem for you know anybody not just women but an anthem for being able to stand up for yourself but take a bow in this direction that it went in her style i really loved it i appreciated it and it was right in the midst like i said in the 95 96 when i really got into music and i latched on to it and i was a madonna fan for life ever since then but there you have it uh, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. I gotta get out of here. Any suggestions y'all want me to react to? Let me know. But y'all be safe out there and happy New Year's. Peace. Wear your mask. Say goodbye.